Luke eighteen, fifteen through thirty. People brought babies to Jesus, hoping he might touch them. When the disciples saw it, they shooed them off. Jesus called them back. Let these children alone. Don't get between them and me. These children are the kingdom's pride and joy. Mark this. Unless you accept God's kingdom in the simplicity of a child, you'll never get in. The Rich Official One day, one of the local officials asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to deserve eternal life? Jesus said, Why are you calling me good? No one is good, only God. You know the commandments, don't you? No illicit sex, no killing, no stealing, no lying. Honor your father and mother. He said, I've kept them all for as long as I can remember. When Jesus heard that, he said, Then there's only one thing left to do. Sell everything you own and give it away to the poor. You will have riches in heaven. Then come, follow me. This was the last thing the official expected to hear. He was very rich and became terribly sad. He was holding on tight to a lot of things and not about to let them go. Seeing his reaction, Jesus said, Do you have any idea how difficult it is for people who have it all to enter God's kingdom? I'd say it's easier to thread a camel through a needle's eye than get a rich person into God's kingdom. Then who has any chance at all? The others asked. No chance at all, Jesus said, if you think you can pull it off by yourself. Every chance in the world if you trust God to do it. Peter tried to regain some initiative. We left everything we owned and followed you, didn't we? Yes, said Jesus, and you won't regret it. No one who has sacrificed home, spouse, brothers and sisters, parents, children, whatever, will lose out. It will all come back multiplied many times over in your lifetime. And then the bonus of eternal life.